Hey guys, my name is Alicia Brayboy. I'm an actress and producer. I recently was asked how I made a fake pregnant belly for my shoot, so I decided to create this tutorial to help the independent film community. Since I was paying for this entire production out of pocket and the budget was tight, I really didn't want to spend $100, $200 on a fake silicone belly, so I had to get creative. Then an idea came to me completely out of the blue to use a drawstring sports bag. At the time, it had Goddess Locks hair extensions in it, so that's what I ended up using on set. But you can use any sort of soft material such as pillow filling, recyclable bags, clothes, etc. You want to do maybe a third or halfway full. Once it's full, you want to put it in a pillowcase so that you can smooth out all the wrinkles. And then you want to place it on your belly. Obviously, I'm doing this over my shirt for obvious reasons, but you're going to want to place it directly on your belly. Now you want to find something to tie the drawstring bag to yourself. I ended up using this Brazilian conga that I bought when you're on vacation. That's what I use on set. Uh, you might want to have two pieces people help you so you're not like struggle city like me right now. Um, I actually realized while I was creating the tutorial though that I had an apron so I ended up using that since the strings are smaller. One of those maternity bands or stretchy things would actually work perfectly. I just didn't have it and didn't want to pay for it to be honest. <laughs> Uh, once you have your method of choice to attach the bag to your stomach, you want to fold everything, smooth everything down, tuck any extra fabric in, make sure that it's good to go. The last step is to pick an outfit that will show off the belly. You want something kind of stretchy, kind of form-fitting, not too form-fitting to show all the wrinkles. And there you have it! Now you are knocked up! Yes, congratulations! <laughs> I guess this is my pregnant belly happy dance. I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, I hope that this really helps the independent film community. Independent filmmaking is hard and every penny counts. So I hope that this helps. Or if you're just making your own DIY costume, please tag me in it. I want to see pictures. I hope that it helps as well. And be sure to check out my series Dreams, which is coming soon. Bye.